Um, red or white? Oh shit, what was it at the end of last time? Hello, and welcome to day 14 of Advent. I hope you are well. Are you well? I'm excellent. Excellent. Are you excited for more wine? Very. Red or white? Stop looking at it and answer me red or white. Come on, do a genuine red. guess. Red. I don't, I've lost track. Oh no, bollocks! It's a, Sav oh, it's a Sauvignon Blanc. I'll enjoy that at room temperature. Mm -mm. Oh, it's Chilean Sauvignon Blanc. Chilean. Chilean? Is it Which not? Chilean? Does it matter? I don't know. Can you say both? Let us know. Are you from Chile? This is called Nibla. Nibla? You're in Nibla. Nibla. Its name means fog in Spanish. Very nice. Which is how you will feel once you have had a glass of our Nibla. So what am I supposed to, what, what's a Sauvignon Blanc again? That's not the bad one, is it? That's a Chardonnay? It's Chardonnay. Well, mm. it's a matter of personal choice. It's a bit sharp. Oh. It's a bit sharp, but not necessarily, I think that's more of a like, because it's not cold. Probably. Not bad. Got my beak in it already. Nice. It smells fresh. Yeah. horrendous I know I keep saying this but oh no 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 actually no you found the sharp point whoa <laughs> whoa zingy at the end it is a bit zingy uh what does it say so it's the name of the vineyard where the wine has its origin mm -hmm. uh the small block is situated in the coastal region of Casablanca 11 miles from the sea mm -hmm. and enjoys the influence of the cool maritime climate from the Pacific Ocean. Sounds mm. like it's a house, not a wine. Influence. The unique phenomenon that occurs in the vineyard, mostly during the summer months, allows a slow ripening of the grapes, resulting in wines of beautiful freshness and great depth. I would say it's quite fresh, but it's also quite sharp. Also, does that mean anything? No, it doesn't mean a damn it thing. It doesn't mean shit! <laughs> It, it literally they are so they want to tell you the climate on this one the soil is granite and i could tell you there are twelve thousand bottles of this in circulation oh, little if, bottles like I, that i don't it just says number of bottles twelve thousand. so it could be any size bottles i'm not i'm not sold by it it's not horribly unpleasant but it's a bit sharp i think that's a we'll chill it and see see how uh, we're doing later you need to chill it i do need to chill it are you ever some more no i'm taking that out of the way right oh okay candle me I was like, what? I'm uh, hungry for candle. God, don't, don't. There's like six, literally six of these boxes, so it's just going to be shitty candles from this, this point on. Oh, this point on. I hope we get a burner. If we don't get a burner, there's I'm going to no be... Burner. I looked this up, there's no burner for those wax melts. There's no burner so and we get an air buy. freshener for a fucking car. Yes, so Yankee are doing a very clever thing, which is... Is it clever? You... It's not. Uh, it... They, they give you all the wax melts and they're not giving you the thing to burn them in. Which you can purchase from Yankee Candle for more fucking money. That's fucking outrageous. Or, according to uh, various comments, thank you guys for your input, you literally could just get a tiny bit of wax melt and put it in like an oil diffuser. Like, you know, the, the proper... Bring one of them either. I think I've got one somewhere. Yeah, you would. Sounds witchy. Oh God, it's icy blue spruce again. Oh, we liked it so much the first time. Okay, was another one. Oh, that's good, because I'm going to get through the first one. Well, the last one we couldn't burn, because it was a, a icy, melty wax thing, wasn't it? So this one, we actually have the, the pleasure of not only hurting ourselves... Let's get the um, measure of the pleasure. But also, we have the pleasure of smelling what it's like lit. You're lit. Thanks. This time, just to mix it up, I found them in a drawer, and I thought we'd use them. <laughs> Don't laugh! <laughs> it's really long. It is really long. These are safety ones. Are aren't those they? for um, girls that are scared of, say, gas fires, for example. Don't you fucking start with me. That got condemned. It almost killed but us. You were scared I was of it. right, motherfucker. 
I was right. You were scared of it before we learned it was condemned. <laughs> and I was right to be scared. So you didn't um, know why you were scared, but you were well, right. Well, gas, you know, there's gas involved. Um, they've got nice little purple tops as well. The purple nurple. Because they're, they're for, for women. <coughs> oh, that was a nice clean light. Steady. Ooh. That's the downside. It's a bit smoky. Thanks for that. Luckily, we have whatever this is called. Icy blue spruce. Spruce. Bruce the spruce. It's just cloudy smoke. No, I can smell it. Did it get going for a bit? It's making fizzing noises because there's wax on the uh, on the wick. You were in charge of that. You should have used the. The wax Wicks, clippers the that Godzilla's thing. got. Exactly. Eight millimetre. I read about it. Do you love your selfie? I'm having second thoughts about myself. I e. think we've fallen out of love a long time ago. Probably about day eight when the hairband appeared. But maybe that's just me. Uh, 14, right? I'm not getting involved in what it's day 14. it is. It's 14. So I did 13. There's the Yeah, it's 14. I always, I always double guess. Double guess? I can guess myself. Double guess them. Double um, guess myself. Okay, so I'm always double guessing myself. Stop it! Stop it! Uh, I don't think we've had the shape before, which scares me. What is the shape? It's a little square. Oh right, okay. It now uh, it's the same kind of square as eight, which is the hairband, but it's smaller. So is it a smaller hairband? Is that a four? That is a four. It looks like an S. It looks. Oh, it... no, that is a four because there's, it is there's a four. five. It is a there's four, but big... from here it does not look like a four. No. I know. It's a wonky four. Looks like a lightning bolt. Harry Potter day, that's what it is. Right. Oh, Christ. This is becoming so tacky, it's falling apart at the seams. I can't even... Oh, fuck it. Come on, Hannah, you boss that door. I can't, because the perforation is tearing... It's tearing me apart! Come here, there we go. Oh, my. Look, it's What's a little... That? Very cheap pencil sharpener. Oh, oh be for um, your pencils. That single eyebrow pencil that I had ages ago. This is not the right colour for my eyebrows. Let's have a look at the hole. There's the hole. Tasty. Mm. Okay. Well, that was fucking pointless. That was like that's like Christmas cracker level of bits of shit, isn't it? It's, oh, it's a bit of a wonky it's, brew. It's escaped, but it's an everyday brew, which is a good answer. Today's a day. You can have it on every day. You can, absolutely. Morning Glory. It's also got Great Taste Award from 2015, and it's Rainforest Alliance certified tea. Good job, tea pigs. Um, and did you know that they donate to the Point Foundation with each pack of everyday brew they sell and match all donations made on the website. So far, they've raised £200,000. So go buy some. It's Assam, Ceylon, yeah. and a lovely Rwandan blended to give a balanced, malty, zesty alliance. Very nice. Mm. All hail the zesty alliance. All hail, hail to the... Oh, that's good. Well okay. done. Save the day again. I, it just, it, it's a small drop of brightness. Well done, what pigs. It's a very, very muddy universe right now. Well done, piggies. Um, so, we then come on to Mum's present. They have moved from the cheap uh, the cheap container they were in to a slightly very more upmarket, upbeat, whip. festive container, um, which Godzilla is guarding? Overseeing. Let me see. Um, I'm going to take this one out because it's already started to open. Scandal. But also... Fix. Also... Fix. Your face, you're like, oh shit, Santa's here! It's the ho bells are ringing. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! The ho bells are ringing! Oh, oh it's... Yeah, I... It's something woolly. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Is this for the cat? <laughs> <laughs> so inside a sandwich bag holy shit is knitted by mum <gasps> in mum's writing 
is a hand knitted Christmas pudding kit makes six puddings. And Holy she, shit. As far as I could tell, she's put them at the bottom of a Ferrero Rocher wrapper thing. It's like an egg case. <laughs> That's an genius. Egg. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. She hasn't just put them in a Ferrero Rocher pack. Just oh, oh, dude. They don't really stay because they're obviously too big for my fingers. So. There we go. Da, da, da. Yay! Oops. What, do we do? what are we going to use them for apart from. We can keep our forever Rochers warm. Eggs. Egg keep, hats. Keep the eggs warm. Yes! Yes! Pudzilla! He's never going to have cold scales again. Oh, bless his little face. Thanks, Mum. We always wanted a Godzilla scale warmer. Thank you. And now we've got one. Genuinely, I don't know what, what you're going to do with them other than cover. It's quite a nice little idea, though, isn't it? To send people little Christmas puddings and inside this chocolates. Yeah, it's a great idea. It's a very nice idea. Thank you, Mum. And they all survived, which is the impressive thing, considering the post. Um, cool. Should we check in with the candle? I mean, it's been going for a while. I haven't really smelt anything. Pencil sharpener is still there. <laughs> Ow. Scared of that too. No, I'm not. Fuck you. You so are. This heckling, this heckling will not, not continue. Goodbyes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed Advent Day 14. If you have and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're not new to the channel, you are subscribed. Thank you for continuing to hang around. Let us know what you think might be day 15. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.